Assalamu alaikum, peace and blessings be on all of you. So, day nine, crazy, huh? How time's just basically flying away. It's just mad how time is just ticking away, really. And so I just want to ask you, how's your day gone today for you? For me, it's been very, very busy. I went to work and then after I, after I finished work, I went for my coach, coach practice evening. Didn't get home and literally until like 15 minutes before iftar had uh, had started. So didn't get a lot of time to work on my goals. But really, I just want to take this opportunity to, to, to share with you two key learnings that I've learned. Number one, don't set yourself big goals if you know that your day is going to be busy. For instance, my day has been really, really busy today. I set myself an ambitious target for me re reading at least half an hour of the Quran and that didn't happen. So really what I want you to want to say to you is that if you know your day is going to be busy, don't set too high goals. OK, make it small if you need to plan your day and make it small. If you know that your day is going to be uh, if, if, it's your, if you know your day is going to be busy, be realistic. And that's the main key. Well, that's one of the main keys that I really want to talk to you about today. So plan, be realistic and, you know, don't be, uh, you know, over ambitious with your goals. And obviously, with you, you, you're working on your, your goals on a day to day basis. You're also journaling, which I'm hoping you're doing. You know, the goals that you say you're going to be doing and the targets that you set for yourself. But if you feel that, you know, you're overwhelmed with the busyness of the day, then really make it realistic for yourself. So that's number one. Number two, what I did was I took whatever time that I had. I took about five minutes of my time and this is all I had. And it's taking those those tidbits of time that you've got and really focus on something that's going to be productive for you. So for instance, what I did was today is I knew it was going to be busy, but I had about a five minutes to spare. So what I did was I took five minutes of that to then reflect on the Quran translation. That was me using five minutes worth of productive time on something that was going to be useful for me. And that's going to be a, that was a part of a goal that I was trying to reach anyway. So, so that's another, the other thing that I want to share with you. And really it's, it's that those are the two two learnings that you could take from me and apply it to your own self when you're overwhelmed with tasks be realistic when you're planning be realistic do not do anything that's going to be over ambitious and number two number two is to take advantage of whatever time that you have available whether it's five minutes or whether it's 10 minutes and make use of that towards achieving your goals even if it isn't going to be as as much time as you want to any time is better than no time. So you really want to make use of this precious time during Ramadan, whichever time that you, whatever, however much time that you've got available in your disposal. So I hope that's benefited you, and I hope this, this, these, these two main key themes is something that you can take away for you in the rest of Ramadan. And until then, we will speak soon. Take care. Assalamu alaikum.